days Only been days but it felt like months Wake up for you and go like once Life moves fast and you do what Pour a little extra. Bad bitches in a match. Bricks on milli rock them diamonds on me dancing. When you working hard, then your money start expanding. I got model bitches wanna lick me like some candy. And them drugs come in hand. Last night, savage bitch, but no, I'm not ran. Hit her with no condom, had to make her eat a plan. And I'm sipping on that cold dean, not brain. I'm just starting on my ex bitch. I was just flexing on my ex bitch. Hold up, I was just starting on my ex bitch. Hold up, hold up, I was just flexing on my ex bitch. Fuck a wedding ring, I bought a necklace. Diamonds got the flu, try not to catch this. I left that hoe alone cause she was ratchet. All these bitches salty, they can't stand me. Flexing on that bitch. Hold up, flexing on that bitch. Bought a necklace on that bitch. Hold up, her friend gon' lick me like a fool. She and her feelings on the ground. Flexing on that bitch, pull up. I ain't texting back that bitch, pull up. No way, no way. I ain't stressing back that bitch, pull up. Man, what's happening? What's on there? Wait. Let's <laughs> go. Like, don't ask me no questions. <laughs> Open up the chat. There. Open up. There. That's right. Okay. Light work, man. Honk me. The light just changed. You'll be fine. Like, hi guys. What's up? Welcome back to another video. Happy New Year. Oh my god. I wanted to film this a few days prior. However, I realized that a lot of us are realizing our 2024 starts the second week of January. I thought I was prepped and ready. No, girl. The first couple days, I was just like, still... Turn right. Mentally preparing and yeah, it's all good, but you know, we're back into the routine and I'm just so excited for this new year. I want to say happy new year to all you guys. I'm wishing an amazing, prosperous, wonderful, blessed, successful. Oh god, I just missed my turn. 
a blessed, successful year for all of us. And yeah, so we're just gonna be getting back into routine. And sorry, I'll try to. I'll talk to you guys in a second because Siri got me fucked up. I just finished my workout and I feel great. I'm trying to get back into my routine, but I also need to upgrade my routine. My routine is in need of some tweaks, some major tweaks. I want to be a part of the 5 a.m. club. I want to move my body a lot more. Yes, I do work out, but I'm not even, I'm barely hitting 5K steps a day. Okay, I'm not a walking girl. I don't do those steps. But one of my goals is to really focus on reaching 8 to 10K steps a day. Honestly, because I'm already working out in the gym, I think walks would add something else to my routine. Vitamin D, fresh air, and just, yeah. I gained some weight over the holidays that I'm actually really happy about. I look a little crazy right now, but you know what? It's all good because at least, you know, I put in the work <laughs> in the gym. I definitely put some work in. Shout out to my trainer, Merda. And if you didn't know, or if you're new here, we are actually about to launch a workout challenge for the new year. If you're looking to lose weight, gain weight, if you're looking to do a body recon, whatever your fitness goals are, our challenge is perfect for you. It comes with a meal plan, grocery list, equipment to use, and it can also be tweaked to train at your home gym or your apartment gym. She will be there coaching with you along the way. For every workout, there is a demo, a live demo, and you will see her and I demonstrating the workout. So I did ask you guys on my story on Instagram, what are your goals for the new year? And about 95% of the answers mention something about fitness, whether it's starting a, a workout challenge, just being consistent in the gym. Working out is, is one of the hardest things to show up for yourselves on. I, I'm still struggling with it. As long as I've been doing this, I still struggle. Hence why the last two weeks before this week, I did not step foot in a gym and I binged really badly with my eating. But it's okay to do that and binge or whatever. Just make sure you get back on track. We all fall off. As long as you get back on track, we're all going to be holding each other accountable. I'm really, really excited for this. Fitness has become a very big part of my life for like the last three years. So, and a lot of you guys have been asking for a workout challenge. So, you know, we finally put something together and I'm just so excited. My car just moved and I don't know why. I did not want to start off the video looking so unkept, girl. Another goal of mine is to start like showing up presentable on camera. <laughs> Okay. But the reality of it is I just finished a workout, okay? So. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Vlogging. Trying some new protein powder. Dana Alexia. I'm trying this one. I think I'm going to get this one. And then I haven't bought Oxy Shred in a while. And I see that they have this. So I'm going to. Can I try a sample of this rainbow candy? I heard this one's good, so I'm gonna try a sample of that. Congratulations.
Hey guys, so I'm back home and I'm gonna do a quick haul of what I grabbed at Popeyes. I needed to re-up on some supplements because I actually just finished my protein powder yesterday. If you're not new here, you know I love this blessed protein, but honestly, I'm gonna take a break from this brand because if you know their flavors, they have very distinctive like they don't have like plain vanilla or plain chocolate this is vanilla chai which became my favorite because it's the most simple one but i noticed they have like like fudge brownie cookies and cream peanut butter those type of flavors don't mesh well with like mixed fruits in my opinion those are for just like if you want to just add ice and milk and blend it up so i'm trying this one the guy at Popeyes just recommended it to me. It's the Magnum Nutraceuticals Quattro Vegan. I only do vegan protein. I switched a few years back and I've just been sticking with it. When I went back to whey protein last year, I broke out like crazy and it just makes I just it doesn't agree with my stomach. So I've just I love the plant-based protein, but this is vanilla because I'm gonna be doing like um Full filling smoothies and then I read up on oxy shred. I actually haven't bought this in a while You guys know I love oxy shred and I took you guys with me inside so you guys saw that I was trying a sample of this and uh, No, I didn't get to try this one. I tried the rainbow candy because I thought that's what I was gonna get I was in there for so long the rainbow candy is really good But there were a lot of them left in the store and there was only one of this the juicy watermelon and I don't remember who it was, if it was Alyssa Marie Body or Bria Nicole Fit. I don't know. But I just took this being the last one as a sign to get this one. So we're actually just going to do a taste test right now. I don't need any caffeine. I just drink OxyShred in the store. But whatever. I want to see what it tastes like. And then I'm going to make a protein shake. While I was in there, actually, what was just supposed to be like a re-up on my supplements ended up turning in. Um, possibly building a relationship with Popeye, so that's exciting. And then um, putting me on the list of like a VIP member to get a discount of like 25%, which is, yeah, because this stuff is not cheap, so that's really good. I have a membership there, so, I mean, I need the caffeine anyways. I have a long day of work I need to finish, so. Oh. Let's see what it tastes like. Oxy Shred is a thermogenic fat burner. There's a, there's a caffeinated version, which is what I get, and then there's non-stim. I prefer the caffeinated because energy. This is like my clean caffeine. And this is, they have so many flavors, so. I heard it's not too sweet. The rainbow candy tastes really good. I almost got that one. Um, it tastes like Skittles. That's like the best way to put it. Oh, that's good. I like this one. Is it better than the rainbow candy? I don't know. The rainbow candy was really good. I think I like the rainbow candy just a little bit better. So, so far I would say out of all the flavors I've tried, I'm gonna rank them from most favorite to least favorite. Rainbow candy. Mango and juicy watermelon, I'm gonna say are tied. And then raspberry refresh and then cosmic blast and then guava paradise. I don't like the guava paradise, it's just too sweet and just I don't know. I just don't really like it. Then he also did let me know if there's any products I'm looking for. You guys know I'm always going on the hunt looking for this. I could just hit them up and ask about some products and they'll let me know when it comes in before they put it out on the shelf. So Love. That also means I can let you guys know when to get this because you guys are always asking me or DMing me about wearing the GTA, GTA to get this flavor. I need to go grocery shopping, but I do need to make a protein shake. I have some blueberries in here. So I'm just going to do milk, ice, protein powder, and blueberries. I actually picked this up at HomeSense. Some maca powder. This is going to help with energy. I need a lot of like energy stuff because I'm always tired and I just have like really low energy. He also let me try the new grenade bar. I tried the fudge one. I don't know, like that turquoise bar, which I think is the most popular. I don't like it. I'm not surprised because I'm not a big chocolate person. I could do like a basic chocolate, but anything like fudge, brownie. It's just, it, it was way too sweet and chewy. This is a white Oreo flavor. Just like, just take this and let me know how you like it. I already get into perks. So, um, I actually, well, as you can see, I was trying to save it. Um, to show you guys because my camera died in Popeyes 
but it actually tastes good. I've never had white Oreo before. Huh. I like that. This is the first protein bar that I actually like. I could never finish them. Forgot to add almond butter, so. my house i was actually supposed to film a deep clean like reset with me for the new year video before this vlog but i've been avoiding it the hardest part is actually going to be that filming room but i think i'm gonna do that in this vlog least i wanted to do the ikea pack system but that room is too small to do that and i wanted something very temporary so that when i move it's not like the amount of money it takes to build the ikea packs and have people doing all that is just not worth it Yeah, and empathize with. Yep. So, during my therapeutic journey, I realized how much I had been sort of self idolizing and how much of my identity had come from the concept of do I look good today? Do I not look good today? Does my hair look good today? Does not? Do I feel attractive and beautiful when I walk into a room? Do guys notice me? Or is it? And it was sort of this like fatigue that I had where I was almost eliciting other people's opinions to decide how I should feel about myself that yeah. day. And I know we've mm -hmm. all been there as women. Like mm -hmm. we go out with our friends yeah. and let's say our friend that night gets all the guy's attention and you go home and you feel terrible about yourself. Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh. And I was tired of sort of repeating that cycle. Yeah. Of once again, loaning my self perception out to the concept and the opinion of other people, which yeah. is so fleeting. And I really just wanted to communicate that I was sort of disabusing myself of the public opinion. Mm -hmm. So I went to the hair salon and at first I was like, oh, maybe I'll just like cut my hair. And then I, at some point I was like, just get the clippers out mm -hmm. and shave my head. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it was just incredibly liberating. Yeah, and I was not, was gonna say and that. it was at the point maybe and I've never felt so. Hey guys, good morning. Um, I literally just opened my eyes and brush my teeth because I went to HomeSense last night and I went to look for, what did I go there for? I needed to find table lamps for my nightstands. And then I find these nightstands that are literally what I've been looking for this entire time. Black, gold detailing, three drawers because you know your girl needs storage and I'm getting rid of my dresser so like the more drawers in a nightstand the better I showed you guys the one from Amazon and it's cute it's affordable um, I only have one set up because I'm waiting for prepack the company that sells the, those nightstands on Amazon to ship me the some more pieces because some pieces came scratch why do I always find what I'm looking for in home sense once I finally cave and say fine I'll just order online or when I just order online oh my god there was a lamp I really wanted and um, I wanted to see if it would look good with my room the nightstand that was there that I really liked I just put it on top because it's the same color and like detailing just way nicer just to envision it with you know my nightstands at home I sent the picture to my boyfriend and he's just like wow like that's what you've been looking for like you need to go get those nightstands don't tell me to do stuff like that because I will actually go because now here we are going I'm praying that um, 
is it still there? They open at 9.30 a.m. It's 11.27. I just couldn't stop thinking about it. So I'm like, I'm just gonna go. I'm praying there, I'm praying there, I'm praying there. Cause like, damn. Lord, please, <laughs> please let the nightstands be there. You know my heart, Lord. You know how bad I've been wanting these. To be honest, the Amazon ones were really just to get the job done and affordable, but <clears throat> this is what I've been wanting for a while. And it has three drawers, so that's two extra drawers for me. If y'all knew what I went through to get this out of the car, I had to get the cleaning man. They had to call the cleaning man to help me, and he took it out with ease. It's because it's so heavy. And I'll show you how to fuck up my car. Take off my shoes. <sighs> And they delivered the parts for the other one. Do you see what I'm going through right now? Alright, so we got it in here. I had to put it on top of the bed because the dolly would not fit in my room. But we got it. It's big, but as you can see, there's still some extra room. I feel like it looks awkward being right, you know, against the window. So it is definitely big. And then this is the one from Amazon. Quality is amazing. Um, and then because there was like a scratch at the back of both of them, I got it for, they are honestly, like when it comes to like taking off, like giving discounts to things that are chipped, they literally will usually give you like $5. And yeah, so <laughs> I got $15 off of both, which is pretty good. So these were $2.85 each. I had a gift card too, so just, I feel like it was just meant to be because I actually had a gift card I needed to use for like $150. So, I only paid like an extra 120 and I'm getting two extra drawers, way better quality, and I don't see myself getting rid of these anytime soon, even when I move. So, I think this is just great. Yeah. I'm gonna go like that. Oh, yeah, she's beautiful. It's the quality for me. So, I'm just gonna leave it like this because I wanna see, just so you guys can get a better look. Oh my god, like this quality is amazing. I'm gonna see if I can find this online and link, link it for anyone who may want it because, yo, this is giving expensive. And to be honest, this is kind of what I was looking for online. But anything of this quality and like three drawers and just this look was anywhere from like $800 a piece, like per nightstand or more. So I'm so glad. I found this. Home sense always comes clutch. Yeah. Yeah. With the books? <sighs> Absolutely. Let's see how it would look. And I have enough space to get a lamp. Perfect. Perfect. And then for now, I just have these here because I don't have a lamp and I wanted some little decor. Yeah, girl. Way better. Okay, now that we can see what it really looks like, which one are y'all feeling more? This one? <laughs> or this one? This one, it's still cute, you know? Especially if you don't have the space for the other one. I love these. Oh my god, I just need to change my bed and my dresser next, and then my bedroom is pretty much done. Again, some BTS for this project.
got all the shelves that were in that room removed um, so that I could put up my bookcases and put my accessories and stuff on it. It's gonna have so much more space in there. It's getting so cluttered and I have so much products. Yeah, all these stuff I have to sort through. I'm gonna make four piles. One of things I'm just, like a giveaway pile, friends, family. Um, I'm also giving away some things for my cousin's baby shower because I'm helping with like the giveaway prizes and stuff. I mean, because I can. Um, and then I'm gonna make a pile for myself of like skincare that I'm like waiting to use and makeup I'm waiting to use. Wait, so that's three piles. <laughs> There was another pile. I think one is for the, I don't know. But I just need to get to organizing. And I'm also gonna clean some of my makeup brushes. Whew, I have like three hours after cleaning my kitchen. So that's what we're doing this morning. Yeah. Yeah, I saw that they have, um, because I bought a desk and I don't think it's going to, I think because of how I'm doing the room, I'm going to return it and open it in. Um, there's a lot going on in here right now. I got my living room cleaned up so much. It looked so bad. See, that room was never like office appropriate it was more like a beauty storage room slash like filming room i have been wanting to revamp that room for a little while so i finally did i was actually gonna do the ikea pack system and then something hit me like why don't i just do like book cases way cheaper first of all well first of all the room is kind of small too so i was gonna have to substitute how i really wanted the ikea pack system to look and you have to pay to get it like put up and all that stuff i don't want to do that if i'm gonna take it down soon so I just got the Billy Book cases from Ikea. Listen, if you need more storage for like your closet or you just want a cute wardrobe set up or like just, just you need more storage but you want to make it look like aesthetically pleasing, get you the Billy Book cases from Ikea. I'm about to show you guys how good it looks. I didn't even show you guys the before because I was not proud of it. Um, I just let, it just was a lot, it was a storage room. Okay, that's why I wasn't even filming in there because it was just too much. All day yesterday while he was in there putting up the cases, um, this is the guy who I hired to do it. So I got the shelves taken down, which I had shown you guys, and then I had another guy come in and paint the wall and then put in the Billy bookcases and he had to, what's the word? Ass assemble it to the wall. I just thought I was going to be able to do it myself and my dad's like, those Ikea bookcases are just weak, so they're going to fall over they gotta get screwed into the wall i got my christmas gift from key yesterday because she stopped by in the night we just chilled and talked i haven't seen her in a while so we exchanged gifts i it was just one of those moments where i didn't want to record but look what she got me so freaking cute she got me the, like mini gucci perfumes these are gonna be so clutch for traveling so clutch which one of these are your fave let me know um i've actually never tried any of these perfumes before so i mean no i lied i tried this one through scentbird when i worked with them like a few years back i heard a lot about this and i smelled this actually i lied Myrna got me my trainer got me the full size of this for my birthday this smells really really good this smells really good too but this smells really nice um and this is just so cute like, I'm so happy with my little Christmas gift. I mean, it's little and cute, but like, there's nothing little about this. This is a fire gift. You guys know I love perfume, so. Um, I just moved those things out, but I want to show you guys what the room looks like without them in. So let's go and look. It's not done. He's coming back tomorrow. It's done, done, done. Are we ready? So this is what the room looks like right now. I already freaking love it. So much more space. So the Billy bookcases have two different sizes. So this is the regular size and then the one out there is supposed to be about this size, but it's off. The width of that shelf is 15 and 3 fourths um, inches and then all that's available is like 14 something or 15 inches. 
So it's not going to fit. So he basically was just asking me about, you know, what we want to do for an alternative. So these are my old shelves that were in there. So he was saying instead of me going and buying more, why doesn't he just cut these and put those there? He was saying this would look nice with the brown one, but because it doesn't fit, it's called the Ikea Lack Shelf. And I don't know, I'm a very big on visuals, so if I can't envision it, like, it's like, it's risky. Because I'm really, really picky. <laughs> but either way, those Lack Shelves aren't even an option anymore because the space is like 14 inches and the Lack Shelves are 11 and a half inches. But I was trying to figure out if I should leave this empty or put the skinnier Billy bookcase here but it wouldn't go in he would flush it to this wall so that's a waste of a little cubby space which is not nothing really crazy but it would have started from right here so it would have been a full square I'm just not sure if I should leave this bare for like maybe I could put something in here but what am I really putting in here for storage and then my vanity is gonna go here what's that one that everybody has from Ikea I bought it and I'm returning it because it has one damn drawer and I need a bunch of drawers so much more clean if you have like a really cluttered space I'm telling you start clearing that shit out I feel so much better right now so much better and like it just it's just unexplainable just clean that shit clean and declutter that shit girl because ugh, this feeling right here I'm so glad I was dreading it but now that it's done just just do it just freaking do it. Why do I sound like I'm getting sick? Oh my god. Um, I literally slept in a tracksuit last night because it's freezing. Okay? And my heat has been on blast. I know my hydro bill this month is going to be crazy. <laughs> because the way I've been blasting the heat is so freaking cold. Like, it's so cold and I don't have blinds. Oh, sorry. Curtains. So, yeah. But anyways, I want to show you guys my filming room because it's done now it looks so nice let me show you guys because it looks so cute mm. and i have to clean so much today and take down my tree and all that stuff but anyways i love it i mean it's no ikea packs system but this is such a good alternative if you don't had the space for the ikea pax ward wardrobe system i mean it's customizable so you customize it to your space but realistically this room is not that big and if you've been wanting it you know it's really hard to get all the pieces and you have to customize it it's a lot of planning and then you have to get someone to think it's very expensive not very expensive but it's not cheap so this was a cheaper and quicker alternative as you can see it looks like it's all one like shelving unit because he had to remove the sides of this one and merge these together because the space was too tight. And yeah, like it, it's so flushed as well. As you can see, he cut the bottom of the shelf to flush it into the wall. He did such an amazing job. If you guys are looking for anybody, um, I will give you Dane's information. He is amazing. He did such a good freaking job like i'm so happy about this i can't wait to decorate this i actually just went ahead and added my mirror in here i'm not keeping this mirror this is one of the items that i'm selling i want a full body mirror in here but to be honest i don't know if i'm gonna have the space for it because i still have, have to have makeup and skincare storage so what i wanted to do instead is just get one of those cute um vanities from amazon initially i was gonna put it here or here and this is where I'm gonna be filming all my makeup and fashion videos I've not filmed or been like showed you guys this room in a while because it was look at my hair it was disgusting like it was so bad it was giving what is that hoarding show I don't remember what it's called but yeah it was giving that because I have so much stuff and I could not take it anymore and I did not want to you know like continue the new year like that I think one of these are like 90 and then the skinny one's 70 so i literally paid like 280 to get these shelves and then to get it installed it wasn't even that much i mean the painting and stuff it was you know but whatever it's he did a really really good job so it's definitely worth it obviously if you don't have to paint and take down shelving it's literally just gonna cost you this 
and you can put it up yourself if you have the space but if you don't have the space definitely do this option of just removing the sides of the middle shelf and putting them together like I was just I'm like in awe it's so beautiful I can't wait to fill it I'm gonna be doing that today because like I said, I have to film in here today. I have so a lot to do, girl. We actually gotta go to the post office in. But literally, I decided to do this. As you guys saw, I went with my dad to get them. Got it installed and finished it within the span of three days. But I still have my Alex drawers, so honestly, I'm gonna bring them in here and just see if, how it works. Because if the Alex drawers work, then I'm just gonna go back to Ikea and get a new Linman tabletop, because that's what I had before. Why I wanted to get rid of the Alex drawers is because they're so huge, like the depth of them. I'm gonna probably have to make use of the upper parts of the wall and put some more shelves for the product, so we'll see. But he did say to give it like three hours so it could dry. I think it's dry now. I'm finally gonna start decorating this room and like putting my stuff up so I can fill the shelves. So I got my package from Amazon. I just ordered a perfume stand and sunglasses organizer. So you guys just saw me change this. He told me that I couldn't change anything like once it's in. But I think he was just talking about this one. So this one doesn't have the knobs or the screws so that I can put the shelf in. So this shelf actually cannot come out. But this one, as you can see, can. So my issue of not being able to get the handbag stand for some of my bags that can't sit up straight is no longer an issue. I was able to extend it because uh, the stand wouldn't have fit in between any of the other shelves. I feel like it looks awkward. I might move this one to match this. Um, this isn't going to be the final look because I don't have all my stuff. Like the things I want to decorate it with. There's a few things that I'm waiting on, but I still want to fill it so that I can film in here later when I'm getting ready to go out. Just doing what I can today. Lot of why is everything so hard to come out? I ordered three of these stands for my perfumes. It's pretty simple. You get some screws and some legs. So I'm I'm just gonna play some music while y'all watch me get this room together. Stay, she's doing left, she's seeking forgiveness. 
She used to dance, but she went alone and started to dance. Baby, 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 baby. The friends of us. Oh no, when I was, I was doing that. You're dying, right? Like, last you're like, you're so funny. Okay, no, you guys are going to like the Damn, I was yeah. supposed to yeah. take a picture yeah. of my lemon yeah. drop before I drink. Oh, I don't want to drink. You're like, I don't want to drink. Oh, I meant to. The boy. Why me a fight with him? Oh, nothing. It's my birthday at 12. Like, we should park the cars in like one spot and then go. Thank you. We can spark at Wynn's place or my house. You know when somebody doesn't drive? I really want to go to Sugar Daddy. Like, get it. I don't know. Who has that guy's number? I all know. I've never been to Sugar Daddy. Yeah, I've never been to Sugar Daddy. Comment down below if you've been to Sugar Daddy. And tell me your review. We're not arguing with the snow storm. We're not arguing with you. Because I'm trying to tell these girls it's late. You know what I did? She got it. Darling, you want to go to Sugar Daddy? Listen, listen, listen. Yo, yo, yo. Not even like a. It's about to be like, wow. Sugar Daddy, Bro, who said you're paying? Who said you're paying? If you wear Sugar Daddy, go buy 10 No, I know the if I'm gonna go to the sugar daddy, I'm gonna go to the Jamaica party. Best, oh. best, best <laughs> If I'm gonna go to the sugar Bonus daddy party, this is the Jamaica party. I don't wanna go to the Jamaica party. party. You wanna party? <laughs> <laughs> Hi. 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 Oh my god, bye. No, I'm so small. Because we have no food. Where's the food? Where is the food? I'm on my side. I'm drunk. That's how much I need food. I'm drunk. I'm already full. Pack my shit. 
Yeah, yeah. Like, no. Oh, sorry. Good night. Buddy, okay. Good night, everybody. Wow. Good? Oh yeah, really good. See, yours is medium. Mine. I feel like I've learned with these restaurants, they never fuck up. They, the mash is always like really no, good. No, here, the mash is good. Let me try okay, it. Okay, where's my car? There we go. The mash, yeah. You were, you were hitting them together. <laughs> no problem, no, no. What did you, how did you get your thing? Medium. Medium, medium. Okay. <laughs> I get my steak medium, but I learned with lamb chops, I like it medium well. Yeah, right? Really? A little bit. It has that gamey taste. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Lamb. How's your steak, boo? <laughs> right there, girl. Hmm? How's your steak? I never even tried it yet. I'm about to try it. You mean? Yeah, Gumbo man? shrimp straight out the lake? Who's in that song again? You're a man, future. Oh! <laughs> Straight up the lake. lake. Oh my god. <laughs> I think I'm drinking. I think I'm drinking too much. <laughs> I don't wanna let you huh? know. I don't wanna let you know. Yummy. Hear that fun? Yeah, but lamb chops are good. It was good. You like that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Javi. Happy birthday to you. Live up the plane. Okay, hey, look at the makeup the whole right? Yeah. 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 Oh, Ali. Yeah? Yeah. Oh. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, let me take one with fun. Good afternoon. Mm. I should not be doing that because um, I have not been showing y'all, but the last week and a half I have been binging on candy, chocolate, cake, just sweets. Only time I crave sweets is when my cycle is coming, like my period. And maybe I'll, you know, I'll have a little sweet tooth and I'll like, but this is how I know sugar is actually truly addicting because, you know, I had a sweet tooth because my cycle was coming and then I kept eating. And then I bought a pack of freaking sour belt from Marshall's cotton candy flavor. They're so good. I had 10 in the span of like two days. Oh my God, I hope my trainer's not watching this. But... And I was just like, fuck it, you know, I never eat sweets. Y'all, I need to show you guys. Oh my god. I'm so happy about this. My grandmother, my dad's mom, bakes rum cakes. And like, actually, like, people buy them off of her every year because she makes the best rum cake, hands down. So my mom bought a cake, bought like five cakes from her. And um, one of the cakes she split into three for me, my sister, and my brother. So 
I got some rum cake. I have been having some. And then my mom gave me a bottle of Sorrel. I am so happy. Uh, this is a Sorrel stan account. When Caribbean people um, tell me they don't like Sorrel, I'm just like, I just stare at them in confusion because like, how do you not like Sorrel? I've been drinking Sorrel since I was out the womb. Okay, not literally, but like, I've been drinking Sorrel since I could remember. Like 9, 10, drinking it, loved it. And as soon as I was allowed to have the one with the rum in it, yeah. First of all, if you come from a Caribbean family, you know we love liquor. Like, we love a rum. So, I like my sorrel to have a little rum in it. So, I have a full bottle of sorrel to myself and some rum cake. So, these are going to be my treats. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't care. But, I got a package from Fenty. Y'all know I am such a Fenty girl. Fenty beauty, Fenty skin, Fenty fragrance. I just love their products. Um, so I got a cute package from them. So we have the, a lot of these are new. I think I've only tried two of these. So I got the Cherry Dubs, the Retexturizing Face and Mini Body Scrub Duo. I got the Cookies and Clean um, Face Mask. What is this? Detox, Clay Detox Face Mask. The Mint Chocolate Chip Edition. I haven't even tried the regular original. So, yeah, I'm excited about that. And then I got the Fruit Quenchers Hydrating and Conditioning Lip Oil Duo. So, there's Cherry Tree and Melon Tree. At the Pore Refining Toner. At first, I thought this was like a limited edition fragrance, but it's just the packaging. But, yeah, I like this packaging. It's really, really cute. I got the Plush Puddings. It's an Intensive Recovery Lip Mask Duo. And then, the star of the show is the Fenty Body Butter Drop. Okay. I know you've seen this. Even if you haven't tried this, I'm pretty sure you have heard about this. This is the best body moisturizer. I have one right now. I have the, like, burgundy purple container. I've tried the original as well. Um, the burgundy one, I feel like, I don't even remember what fragrance it is, but I don't feel like I really smell much it does have like a nice little shimmer in it so this one is the warm cinnamon shimmering whipped oil body cream and i've heard so many things about this one i think this is like everyone's favorite <laughs> um and i never got to try it because when i wanted to try it last year it was limited edition so i just bought that one i have another package and it says it's from kosas I've never tried them before. I've never gotten PR from them before. I get way more skincare now. So when I do get makeup, I'm like really, really excited. It is from Kosas. Sent me the new launch. How did they get my address? I'm assuming my management gave it to them. Okay, let me just take a little photo. Her. Let's open her up. Okay, packaging. Hello. This is so cute. It's a little light. Not little, it's a big light bulb. Oh, period. <gasps> ah! Okay. Sorry. I got a blending sponge and I got a baking and set setting powder. Oh my god. Do you see how excited I am? I'm keeping this box. How freaking cute is this packaging? I've been wanting to try their concealers and I did pick one up one time like a few months ago and the Sephora girl that was um, helping me I was like what do you think about this concealer and she's like honestly it's more like a, it's not full coverage it's more like skin like very skin tinty I don't know she just wasn't really feeling it so I kind of let her opinion influenced me to get something else but this has still been in the back of my mind to try because i just used to see so many people trying it so i'm gonna try it and let you guys know how i like it we're just happy <laughs> what the hell was that i don't think i properly got to show you guys um my christmas gift from my baby he's so sweet i asked for this bag this was one of the items i asked for not this specific bag he got me this Givenchy Antigona bag, and then he also gave me some money, period. <laughs> uh, my man, my man, my man. Yes, I'm one of those. Now, 
this is the biggest mini bag I have ever seen so on the list I put a small so he did get the mini but it's cuz and I can't even blame him first of all you guys know men don't read <laughs> so um, it said mini but it looks like the small like this does not look like this is not I mean it's not a mini bag but for the Antigona style this is the mini bag this bag comes in like five, four different sizes the toy micro then the mini then the small then the medium and then the large but I believe the large is discontinued as you can see the tag is still on it because I think we're gonna exchange it my auntie Shelly actually just got the small because we were actually talking about it the other day so she kind of inspired my Christmas list it's funny because I saw a TikTok recently like I think two or three weeks ago of a girl just saying that she feels like this bag is gonna make a comeback this year she posted this in like March this is way more expensive than what I even wanted so like I'm not complaining however I feel like I'm not gonna use it as much because of the purpose of what I wanted it for it's the embroidered fabric um, it's the 4g logo all over so the thing is I wanted an everyday bag because I don't have an everyday bag and I don't have a bag that I can fit all my stuff in. I'm talking keys, wallet, lip gloss, phone, camera, tripod. If you guys notice, all my bags are literally mini bags. The biggest bag I have, it's um, on the counter right now and I don't feel like going to get it. But my Louis Vuitton Spring Street bag that I'm always wearing is the closest thing to an everyday bag because it's the most neutral and spacious out of my collection but it's not spacious at all so that was my thing and I actually really thought I wanted the small because of that it was giving like you know I don't have a never full speedy you know that type of vibe I'm thinking about keeping it but honestly I don't think I'm going to because I know I'm not gonna get to wear it a lot because the fabric is gonna clash with pretty much my whole wardrobe um, it's gonna be really hard to style and if I wasn't looking for an everyday bag and just wanted like a new little cute bag Then I would keep this because I can still wear it, but I feel like I'm very limited with this for my wardrobe uh, initially what I wanted was the small um, Smooth box leather the calfskin one. What I'm not sure about is what size I want. So I don't know what you guys think though. I feel like I feel like some people are gonna tell me to keep this because I mean, not a lot of people have this bag. It's different from everything I have. And honestly, that's what he was saying. He's just like, you know, I felt like you had so many black bags that, and they're all leather, all kind of look the same. So I thought to get you something different that you don't have. He's actually trying to be intentional with helping me build my bag collection. I love him for that. He's just so great. But yeah, girl, I think we're gonna return it on me this is already like i think this is a good size y'all and because the small doesn't fit the macbook and that's the only reason i wanted that size i feel like i should just get the small in the leather but i want to see exactly how many things fit in here so i'm going to quickly do that it's the energy for me it is really the energy and i just want to like put this out there because i got so many dms from you guys just saying how you've witnessed you know, like you've been here from the go when I was in no relationship, the situationships and all that stuff and are just so happy for me and that just made my heart so warm because sometimes you forget, you know, people have been with you for different seasons of your life. So it just made me so happy and one girl, this almost made me like tear up. One girl said that one of the reasons that she stayed true to her morals and, and never settled was because of me because of the chit chats and the wind downs I used to do back then doing the girl chats and that she's now with her soon to be husband. Like I was just like, I just love that. I love that. That makes me so freaking happy because that's the energy we want ladies. You know, it's so crazy because I used to put up with men that not always, but there was a time in my life where, like, men were doing the bare, not even doing the bare minimum. If you're not being treated like a queen, or showered with love, it doesn't even have to be gifts. It's whatever your love language is. As women, we are meant to be courted. We're meant to receive princess treatment. And the biggest thing I've learned through my dating <laughs> experiences, especially in the last two years, if a man wanted to, he would. And what? one man won't do another man will so i just want to put that out there because i know that there's always somebody going to be 
you know, dealing with something where maybe you kind of forget your worth. Or you're just dealing with something, you're hanging on to something. And I'm not going to be like, girl, let go. But if it's not serving you, if you know deep down you're unhappy, if you know you deserve better, number one. Number one, if you know you deserve better and you feel like you're not being treated as you deserve there is always going to be someone out there that is willing to treat you with the love respect even if he didn't give me this bag and like my other gifts i wouldn't i would still be saying this because it's not even just the gifts it's the way he talks to me it's the way he treats me it's the way he just cares for me and ew i'm like getting <laughs> ew it's i'm not crying but i'm just getting mushy because i just realized like i really just have been through a lot like, I went through a really long time of just being single and things not working out and me questioning God like why isn't this working finally just being treated with the energy respect and the love that I know I deserve um, because it wasn't always like that you know I used to have low self-esteem I used to put up with disrespect the bare minimum and just like crumbs and also the biggest thing I've learned too is the longer you put up with what's not for you is the longer you miss out on what is for you you know what I mean so yeah but anyways I want to see what I can fit in this bag I think I'm gonna do the mini size if you have this bag um the empty gona let me know I feel like it's like a classless classless oh god it's a classic and timeless piece especially if I got the leather but I also want to make sure that you know like he gets his money's worth and I get to really wear the bag a lot I just feel like this is not I feel like the most I can really wear this with is like an all black jumpsuit or just all just all black plain unless maybe I'm just not good at like putting shit together but you know what I mean like I feel like it's just not really gonna get for the price too like this is a lot more than the one I wanted so yeah um let's see what i can fit in it so phone do wallet lip liner lipstick lip gloss because if you're a lip combo girly you already know okay sometimes i notice when i have my mini bag i gotta pick and choose what to put in my bag so typically i'll bring the gloss and the liner or i'll do the gloss and the lipstick just depends on I don't know <laughs> what I think will last the longest. Keys, just some sunglasses, and there is still, can we see that? Oh my god, so much space. I'm wondering what else I would add in there. I love, when I say I love these nightstands, I am so glad I didn't let like the hassle of getting rid of the Amazon ones bother me. Nothing in here. But just out of curiosity, I wonder if this can fit in. No, bitch, you are doing too much. If you want to bring a damn journal, get a tote. Okay. Yeah, that's not working. But, okay, hand lotion. Either way, it's going to fit. I still have so much space. I even just went and just grabbed a little travel perfume. I don't get to bring these things with me because all I have is mini bags. And then tripod. I still have so much space, so that's a great thing. Usually when I go out, dinner, anywhere, sometimes my camera will fit in the bag depending on what bag I bring. However, the tripod has to be left at home. My phone barely ever goes in the bags, to be honest, because that takes up so much space. But I never get to put everything in one place. I was so sure that I wanted the small. I was like, no, I don't want the mini. The mini's too small. And now I'm just like... I think the small, the small would be good if I need it for traveling, but I feel like I should just get a different bag for work because I feel like this is too cute for a work bag. Like, it's not too cute, but it's too cute, if you know what I mean. I feel like it is a little too cute. This in the black leather for, like, going out would be so sexy with some boots and stuff. Right? Yeah. So I'm going to take a shower and then go run these errands should i take off the tape or leave it in this hole okay this no no leave it let's bend it put all the flat wheels on the bottom and then i'll leave it yeah what time is it now 8 26.
Okay, can I sit back right here? Yeah. Where's it? You bring back in Akia? Where's it? It's, a, eh? it's in my room. It's in my room. Okay, you're not taking it apart, right? No, it's in the box. Not my camera dying. Well, good morning. Been MIA for the last few days. And I'm returning my Christmas gift that my boyfriend got me. So, look at my hair. God. I look so unkept right now. <laughs> the goal was to be cute and fly today. My outfit is cute. This cardigan from Zara. So cute. Hopefully, it's still on sale by the time this is up. Um, but Zara's having like a clearance sale right now. This was like one something and it's on sale for $49.99 It's long. I don't have any cardigans right now So it's like super long as you can see I'm not wearing a jacket and I'm Toasty. I'm actually kind of hot right now Oh child, but yeah, so he ordered my new one. So I'm returning this bag even just now when I was packing it up I'm like, are you sure? I'm sure if I don't look at something and I love it I've learned this over time. After that, I'm gonna go pick up a salad from Earl's. And then I need to do some editing. I brought my laptop. I wanted to go to like a coffee shop, but I didn't want coffee shop food, so I got the salad from Earl's. But I'm gonna actually ask and see if I can like, if they have outlets there and I could just sit there and edit because I'm tired of driving up and down. I need to sit my ass down and do some work. Thank you for calling Earl's Kitchen and Bar. Press 1 to book a reservation. Press 2 for takeout and delivery options. Press 3 for hours and location. Press 0 at any time to speak to someone at the restaurant. Wait, 3 or 0? Great. We are experiencing a technical problem. Please try your call later. Ah! It was 0. It was 0. <laughs> Ciao. Hi there, how are you? I'm pretty good. How are you? I'm good. Quick question. I ordered for pickup, but I have my laptop and I wanted to do some work. Do you guys have like an outlet at anywhere? Uh -huh. that people can... We sure do. We sure do. Yeah. And when you come in, let me know. Are you picking... Is it... Is it order named Dana by any chance? It is. Yeah. <laughs> oh, amazing. Well, yes, we have your order right here. Um, and then I will be sure to get you seated at a table that has an outlet. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, of course love that for me so you guys know if you're not new here you know how I feel about the Santa Fe salad from Earl's I'm not a salad girl if you guys have noticed how often have you seen me make a salad okay chicken Caesar salad or Santa Fe chicken salad from Earl's specifically um, that's all I eat I think I might order like a no you're not having a glass of wine but I want one. What should I do? I'll just get like a coffee or something. It is chilly. <laughs> is this still happy hour? Maybe. We'll see when we get there. But y'all, we're going to Earl's to eat, okay? Ugh, it's skin for me. This little white patch. Um, Michaela, my esthetician, said that it should be able to go away if I start doing micro needling. This side of my face is just like, love it. And I just finished my cycle, and look at that. And all the sugar I've been freaking eating as well. Like, so I was so motivated and excited to start the new year and just be on my Zoom. Um, I mean, I still am, but not as much as I was before. Literally like five days into the new year, I got some news from my family. So, yeah, we're just dealing with that right now. And it's been, I never thought or never imagined something like that would happen. So, just been dealing with that. It could be worse. It could always be worse. Nobody's dead. Thank God. But like, ooh, child, it's definitely draining. It's been hard to focus on work. Let's talk about the economy because I used to get the salad for $22. Before I moved out, I used to always go to square one. The salad was $22 with tax. This shit is $30 now. I'm still gonna eat it and buy it, but like that is crazy. Guys, tell me why I shouldn't get a drink. It's four dollars. 
Uh, we bring the sugar, so you add it. Yeah, we don't switch. Have you had any of them? I've never had coffee. So, yeah, yeah, right. If you're going to get a coffee, like, say one of the specialty coffees. Like, right? We good? Yeah, like Irish coffee, uh, Bailey's coffee. Bailey's coffee. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.